Why? Because that's how I like my math. Well done. Arc length. But before we get to an example, let's see where it comes from. On over here. What are we talking about? We need to set up a proportion. What's a proportion? It means two ratios are equal. Which ratios? Oh, these guys. I wanna do the whole to the part. The whole circle to a part of a circle, a sector. Well, in this sector, we see our angle gonna be theta and our S. Yes. That's what they use for arc length. I'm not even really sure why, but what do we have? We have the circumference is to two pi, that's all the way around, and the circumference is the distance all the way around, is to the arc length S, yes, to the angle theta, the central angle. And here we go. The circumference is two pi r. Last I checked. And then what happens? We can reduce. Uh, 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 uh. R is equal to S over theta. Then what? Let's isolate S. Yes. Like Jedi, right? Womb. So we have R theta is equal to S. Yes. It's like Ross. It's like a boss. So then, what do we have? We have S is equal to R theta, where theta is in radians. Rad. And what? You may want to make a note of this, because it's going to help us with this. Here they want us to find the arc length when our R is 12.3 centimeters. Well, what? And theta is 2 pi over 3. So what do we do? We go and we put it into our note. And we go, and our S, yes, is going to be 12.3 times 2 pi over 3. Oh, boy. So we pound that out in our calculator. So 12.3 times 2 pi over 3, that turns out to be 25.76-ish. And when we do, we find that our arc length is going to be 25.76 centimeters. And then what? That's it. That's all. What do you want from me? And I know what some of you are saying. That was easy. <laughs> That finishing move is a staple.